finding the missing side of a right triangle given any two sides. About 2,500 years ago, Pythagoras discovered that if you were to form squares from the sides of the two short sides of a right triangle, the sum of the areas of those two squares would be equal to the area of a square formed from the long side or hypotenuse of that right triangle. Let's look at a problem. An airplane flies due east a total of 450 miles from city A to city B. It then flies due north 600 miles from city B to city C. How far is the airplane from its starting point in city A? The first thing we're going to do is label the short sides of that right triangle A and B. And the long side or hypotenuse will label C. Now we're going to find out which one of these four multiple choice answers is C. Now, using test taking skills, we could eliminate possible wrong answers. We could certainly do it here, but this is about using the Pythagorean theorem, so we're going to apply it. And so we find C by using the Pythagorean theorem A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we substitute, in this case, we substitute 600 for A and 450 for B. We could have arbitrarily done it the other way, made 450A and 600B. And then we went and used, in our calculator, we have 600 squared plus 450 squared, and we get an intermediate answer of 562,500, and that is C squared. Now to find what C is, we take the square root of that same number, but alternatively, your calculator has a nice feature called ANS, and we can access that by pressing second and then the negative sign, and what that does is it places for ANS the last number calculated and so it can save you some keystrokes. And then we press enter and we get 750 and that is our answer, D. And logically we could have solved it by eliminating impossible wrong answers. Now we have another case. If you have the A and C and need to get the B, then you take A squared and subtract it from squared C. And that's from my DVD and CD, The Power of Algebra. I recommend it. Pythagoras Rap. Now we go to a problem where we do have the C and the A and need to get the B. In the map of the park shown below, the distance from the bench to the Rose Garden is 60 feet, and the distance from the Rose Garden to the slide is 102 feet to the nearest hundredth. What is the distance from the slide to the bench? And so we label our sides alongside C, the short side we know A, and the short side that we don't know we label B. And so now we take the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and we use algebra and subtract a squared from both sides. That cancels out both a, a squared minus a squared is zero on the left side. And we have left c squared minus a squared equals b squared. And now we substitute in using the calculator for C, 102, for A, 60, and we get B squared equal to 6,804. We take the square root of 6,804, and ANS again is the last number calculated. And we get 82.4863625.1, but it asks for rounding to the nearest hundredth, and what is that? 82.49. Now, we're not going to get credit for a right answer until we fill it in correctly, and so we need to, on our answer grid, 
Put 82 to the left of the decimal point and 0.49 immediately to the right of the decimal point. And then we pencil in those little circles with our number two lead pencil. And so now we've got it correct. Now to summarize, if you're missing the hypotenuse, or long side, use a squared plus b squared equals c squared. After calculating c squared, find c by taking the square root of c squared. But if you're missing one of the legs, use c squared minus a squared equals b squared. After calculating b squared, find b by taking the square root of b squared. I hope this lesson has been instructive and enjoyable. Thanks.